Welcome back <laughs> to your 2021 updated holiday dinner guide. 2021 edition 2021. means COVID edition. COVID is going to be spoken about a lot at the table, whether we like it or not. So we're going to get into how to maneuver that conversation. If you're a big vaxxed mommy <laughs> or a big unvaxxed mommy. mommy. <laughs> you're blocked with Ian Middleman and Simona Catalano. Regardless of your status, it's something that is going to be talked about and you don't really have any control as to whether it gets talked about amongst family members or not. Mm -hmm. So I think that before we slide into the family gathering dinner aspect, identify where you guys are at as a couple in terms of that and how you guys can kind of support each other throughout dinner and have each other's backs. Let's say, you know, if I was going over to a guy's place for family dinner it was like one of the first times or whatever and maybe i had different political views and i just wasn't comfortable talking about it i would probably give my my boyfriend the 411 be like listen you know i'm worried about this and if this does happen how are we going to maneuver is there anybody i should worry about do you have like a crazy uncle who's like super crazy about that like what are we going to do as a team like let's say you're dating someone that's unvaxxed like maybe it's like not a big deal for you you're vaxxed you're dating someone that's unvaxxed mm -hmm. And it's not a big deal for you, but you know that your family is like, they need to be vaxxed. Mm -hmm. I think that knowing where your family stands and to the extent in which they stand, because I know so many people that are like, you're not coming into my house if you're not vaxxed. Like rightfully so, like everybody's entitled, that's your home, do your thing. I think it's important for you guys to be transparent with each other and then be transparent with your family. Absolutely. And if it's not a space that they're comfortable with having, I, I don't think it's right to like get upset. Mm -hmm. You can be a little butthurt, obviously, because mm -hmm. like you want to meet the family. But again, it's their home. They don't feel comfortable. And we have they, to respect that. We have to respect we that. We have to respect that. If you're going to someone's right. home, it's their fucking home, like you stated. Make sure that the family is aware ahead yes. of time, be I think. Be super transparent. Yes. Don't, don't lie. Don't hide. Do not hide no. and do not lie. Yes. Just be upfront because when you lie, it will come out. Yes. So like, don't do that. Just mm -hmm. don't do that to yourself. Well, you're going to put yourself in an uncomfortable position. Exactly. Right? With your partner day. and then yeah. with the family. Yes. And you don't need that, especially for you impressions. Want that. Let's not go there. Let's not do that. Let's okay? not do that. So we can avoid that as a whole. Ever, guys. Yes. But it's something that, you know, you can't put that rule on your partner or his family. Like we're not talking about this. Yes. Because that's not your place. It's because nice. Uncle Bill and your Aunt Cindy are definitely going to be having that discussion at dinner. And maybe someone is going to ask you, like, are you vaxxed? And if you are someone that's not vaxxed, that is a very uncomfortable situation because no matter where you stand, majority of us feel strongly on, you know, either being vaxxed or not vaxxed. And that is like, could be a point of contention. I think, you know, having that discussion with your partner, I mean, like, obviously, you know, that like, mm -hmm. let's say you're not, mm -hmm. I'm not. How are you going to navigate this dinner with everybody that is? Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that your partner understands that you two are a team. So regardless, you guys have to act as a unit. So to respect one another and the relationship. So if Uncle Bill is asking you point blank period, if you're vaccinated and you're not vaccinated and the conversation making you feel uncomfortable, the partner in which like whose home that you're in yes. has to be the icebreaker or the middle. Other. Yes, you're the middle man here. Yeah. They so have I to be just, able to diffuse it yeah. and talk to the uncle correctly about this. You can either go up to him ahead of time if you know that he likes to like have a few drinks and get rowdy. <laughs> um, just be like, hey, listen, like we're not going going around the table asking all of the significant others if they're vaxxed or unvaxxed because yeah. like it's not your house bill. Yeah. I think also the flip side of this is just also if you're someone that's vaxxed going into everybody that's not vaxxed. Mm -hmm. That's like another that it's not I don't think that that's more common but it's still like a possibility yeah. and I would feel extremely uncomfortable if mm -hmm. I was like in that position I'd be like uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell you. It's a significant other's job to make sure that everybody is aware that hey listen if we could just keep it to like the breaking news of the day mm -hmm. and not so much of like we're all gonna die because we got the vaccine yeah. like type of situation yeah. right i also think if you are someone that is unvaxxed and you're going into the house i think if i was in that position i would go up to mom and be like i'm so thankful that you know you guys have like extended your home to me and you've allowed me in and i want you to know that like i am taking all of the measures to make sure that i'm safe and that i'm healthy and i've done my test and i've made sure and I'm taking this very seriously. I want. I don't want you to get the wrong idea or impression of me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I think, I don't know, for me, I think if I was in that predicament, that's something that I would 
just extend think, and say so that way absolutely. they know because it's their home. Yes, I think being transparent and being respectful and understanding that you are going to someone else's home, right? Okay. You know, I would be so nervous and uncomfortable and I'd want to make sure that everything is good in the hood and that I've done my due diligence before walking yeah. to someone else's home because you never know and you don't want to be responsible for yeah. God forbid an outbreak or something. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to be in the middle of that at all. So obviously that is a really good point to just flat out say it and to yeah. thank them for opening their home to you because it isn't comfortable yeah. for most people. And I think it acknowledging that yes. I think that there's so much credibility in being open honest and transparent with people that people appreciate so much and that speaks for me personally in any situation more than the act of doing or not doing mm -hmm. based on whatever your reasons are you can have your beliefs I can disagree but I think that if someone well you know came into my house and like let's say my, my brother's girlfriend yes. was like oh my god I, I'm I feel so bad like I haven't gotten it. I'm really nervous. I don't want to. And I'm just, I really am so appreciative that you guys have like, you know, let me in. I know that Super it's really hard, yeah. big. I would be like, you're all good. Mm -hmm. You're all good. Mm -hmm. I would not have any judgments. I wouldn't because naturally like we all judge each other just by human nature because we're all low key, a little bit assholes. Yeah. But I would just be like, wow, like she really is caring. She really does not want us to like, not that we would single her out. I don't, I don't think anybody should like, don't be an asshole flat out. Yeah. Like Uncle Bill. Everyone has their reasons. Yeah. But so much kudos. Like mm -hmm. mom would be like, okay, for sure. No, don't worry about it, honey. Mm -hmm. Like take your time. Appreciate There's always it. time to get it. Like, yeah. I think that that is so much more endearing and respectful yes. than kind of just walking in and pretending like you're and a big backs mommy when you're not. Exactly, mommy. exactly. Keep in mind that it's been what, almost two years of us being separated from our loved ones. And when you have the opportunity to be with your loved ones, let's try and make sure that we're actually utilizing that time for something that's positive and loving and giving. Cause we don't know yeah. what's to happen. Like we've seen how the world can turn like this. And I think it's important to keep that in mind. So whether you're vaxxed or unvaxxed, whatever you believe, whatever you're comfortable with, if you've allowed somebody in your home that has a different status than you, I think that it's important to also be mindful of having those conversations too. So if you're bringing someone into your home and you know that your family likes to talk about that or inevitably it will be brought up, I think it's important to do your part too. Yeah. And if that is happening or if your girlfriend or boyfriend is getting hounded by fucking Uncle Bell or some shit, to be the person to be like, listen, it's family time and this is like a good line to use as well because it's true. I understand that it's on everyone's mind. I mean, rightfully so, I get it. However, we're here together. We've all opened the doors for this person to come in. Let's spend time in a loving, warm environment right. rather than a hostile environment because truly this is something that we take for granted and we see what happens. Do you know what I mean? Like we've seen how yeah. it is being alone and being you know separated from everybody that we love and care for. Yeah. So just reminding that and bringing that up and having your partner stand up for you too. We've all as a society, I think in culture made it kind of a deal breaker, honestly, not only with like friends, but I've even seen with dating, like it is like, we're not even dating people that are or aren't or, you know, different standpoints, it's gotten to that level. So I think that always just being mindful and trying to like take a step back and being like, okay, well, we're here. And like, what else can we focus on? Like, why are we really here tonight? So if my boyfriend was a big unvaxxed puppy and you know my uncle bill was like did you get vaxxed i'd be like remember when we said we weren't fucking talking about this see like remember yes. when yeah the rules and regulations like yes. do you need to go have another crown royal outside yeah, in the corner with the fucking snow by yourself yes i think that that's see that's super important and that goes even without covid you know whatever to have your partner truly be on your fucking team, regardless of what it is. I've been in situations where I've gone to a guy was dating his house and there's a conversation and the mother was speaking very negatively about something that I care for so much. And I looked at my partner and he realized, okay, like regardless of if I agree or disagree, I'm standing up because she doesn't need to be saying anything because she's uncomfortable. It's, very it's not uncomfortable. her place. That's not your family, right? Exactly. So like, with your family, like, let's fight. Like, yeah. let's, I'll let's do go. it. Let's go. <laughs> but I mean, trying to like not lose my shit the yeah. first time I meet the family, it's really on the significant other. So like, let's have a conversation prior to. Game plan. Game plan. How do we handle this? This comes up. How are you shutting it down? Yes. How are you shutting it down? So yep. I don't need to overextend and shut it down and make it off and offend somebody or say the wrong thing in the heat of the moment when you're blindsided you say stupid shit or you're uncomfortable you shut down like 
you don't want to have that because what that does is it ruins and soils the entire rest of the evening or gathering and that's not something that you want and you yeah. want to be responsible for that and your partner should understand that you as a girlfriend or boyfriend that's coming over to their place is a reflection yeah. of them and it's important that you guys are on the same team and are acting accordingly it's also important like what i like to do as well if someone is coming in significant other or friend whatever the case may be i'd like to also yes have that partner discussion together as a unit but i also like to do it with my family hey yeah. guys just want to let everybody know x y and z about my significant other shut the fuck up and you know if you and like if uncle bill and cindy want to have a conversation about that they can do it but like we're not going to engage like yeah. for our sake so that also allows mom and dad to shut it down as well mm -hmm. which is super super nice yes love when they get in and they're like we're not doing that yeah we're actually it's shutting it down because it's their up. house. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That's bottom line. What comes down to the very first conversation you have with your man, with your girl, and then making sure that your partner, significant other goes to the family and makes sure everything is prepped to be as successful as possible. Right? Obviously things come up that you cannot control. Like we said, with these conversations, people are entitled to their own fucking opinions. But as long as you try and come in as prepped as possible, yeah. having these discussions while COVID is huge and happening and a big point of discussion for many reasons, why are we here, right? Like, I want my family to meet my significant other. So, like, are we trying to get to know my significant other? Like, do we want to know about the relationship? Like, where can we focus our attention elsewhere? Yes. Like, what's the goal here tonight? Because it's not about talking about the CNN article that broke this morning. Yes. How would you feel? How would you want your par partner to handle it? And try to be what you would want for yourself in that situation. This was sort of our COVID edition, but there are so many other ways and great tips. Important do's and don'ts for holiday dinner maneuvering that outside of COVID. Right here. We made that video last year, guys. These are the fundamentals. If you don't know that, yes. you will fail. You have to go back. You have to watch this. These are tried and true. These are the classics. They'll save These you will save you. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications. And we'll see you back here so soon. Bye, Bye. guys. Good luck.